Hey everybody, welcome to Callus Invitational 3 Round 4 action. Man, I don't know how we got here. It feels like the tournament has blown by this year. How the hell are we already in Round 4? But we are, and we've got winner's bracket action here. These guys are both 2-0. and No, that is not me misspeaking. The winners did not play in the previous round in order to keep the winner and loser bracket at an even pace and not end up with an uneven structure as we've had in previous years. But yeah, these guys are both undefeated, undisputed in triangles, and with no offense to anybody else in the winner's bracket, uh, this is one of the matchups of two true and proper ADV people. There are some people in the winner's bracket who deserve to be there. I give them a lot of credit, like in a Loden or a Blightbringer kind of guy, who obviously can play, but is not a true SPL ADV player. These two guys, Undisputed and Triangles, are both guys who played ADV at the SPL level for years. So this is really truly a clash of big name ADV guys and winning here would be huge toward making a deep run in the tournament. Being 3-0, not having to play next round and sit back as other people get eliminated would put somebody in a really good position to make a deep run. So I'm super excited to see which of these guys it's going to be. They're both really good. And here is game one in the best of three between Undisputed and Triangles. Undy's bottom side with a scum lead, triangles on the top, and he's got a Swampert, and it's an immediate Blissey switch, possibly doing a Magneton check there. It's interesting, that switch also could have gotten Undisputed hit with a Focus Punch there, potentially, but that is not what happens, and it ends up just being a Hydro Pump. Bit of switching here, more switching, we end up with Scarm on Lax, Scarm on Tower rather, See if he spikes up now, or if he again is going to do a Magneton check, given what's already been shown from Triangles, it wouldn't be shocking. But now actually, seeing Fire Blast here, as opposed to something physical, almost makes me think that there's not a Magneton. It might be one of those teams that is dealing with Skarm by simply having everything be able to damage it, rather than relying on Magneton. Charizard appearance from Triangles. We've actually seen a good amount of Charizard this tour. Now granted, I'm not vividly recalling any game in which Charizard was just amazing and just carried the game and just knocked out three things or whatever. I don't know what its win ratio is right now. I'd have to check the spreadsheet. But there has been a decent amount of Charizard usage. Like I said, I don't recall any game where it's just absolutely dominated. But it has been a Pokemon. More so, more usage than I thought it would get. So now we're back to this. Lax on Skarm, Shadow Ball here, that doesn't mean that he doesn't have something like a Focus Punch here that would do a lot more damage, but the Shadow Ball does very little. He does just go to Charizard, so it's going to be an opportunity for a second lair, but Undisputed actually plays around the Focus Punch and goes straight Drill Pack. It's going to hit Charizard instead, which isn't bad, 35%. It also shows us that we already knew that the Charizard does have leftovers. Goes Fire Blast here. Hits Starmie, 52% is where he's at now. Surf would kill Charizard here. Hydro Pump obviously would as well. And Starmie goes for a cover, thinking there'd be a switch, but there's not. Triangles anticipates the recover, stays in, and attempts to get a critical hit with Hidden Power Grass. It does not come. Alternatively, he could just be fishing for a Hydro Pump miss, but the greed is going to kick in as Triangle stays in for a second time. This time Undisputed doesn't allow it, and he goes straight for a T-Bolt for the first knockout of the game. Charizard goes down. Didn't do much in this game either. Here is a Focus Punch, so Undisputed was right earlier to play around that. The Lax does in fact have that, and he's going to connect 40% with the Skarm, who's down to just 15. See if he goes Drill Pack to play around it. It's a switch from Triangles. He goes to Swampert. And it is, in fact, just Drill Pack to play around Focus Punch. Swampert. Yeah, we've seen Hydro Pump here, so that would have been the knockout had it connected, but he unluckily misses there. Drill Pack, again, may have been playing around a Focus Punch that does not seem to be there. Here's Blissey. It would be amazing if Triangles had gotten him with Focus Punch there, but of note, the Swampert's not gaining lefties. So this actually might be an Endeavor Pert. And there is an Endeavor. Brings Bliss down to 19%. She's going to respond with S-Toss. Swampert's going to be taken very low. 10% here. But it's going to trigger the Salic Berry. So he's going to be faster than everything other than Starmie on the other side. 
could potentially be faster than Starmie as well if it's not max speed, but generally it is a safe bet to assume that Starmie, when it is offensive, which it is because it is Hydro Pump, does in fact have max speed. And that turns out to be the case here. Could have been a disaster there had Starmie missed that Hydro Pump, but the 80-20 cooperates for Undisputed, and it leaves us in a 5-4 situation with Undy in the lead. Both players with two unrevealed pokes, however. Here's Lax, Focus Punching into Starmie. Starmie doesn't break it up. However, the Focus Punch is going to land on thin air as Gengar comes in with that Fighting-type immunity. Can it actually hurt the Lax from here? 33%. I don't think he can knock him out. He comes up way short with an Ice Punch. And he's going to be punished with Shadow Ball for 95%, which is effectively a one-hit KO with the Sand. That didn't go well at all. Undisputed trades the life of the Gengar for 14% damage on the Lax. That really does not seem all that exciting, and it makes you wonder why this T-Tower didn't come in in the first place. Maybe a little bit of a misstep there by Undisputed. He is still in the lead, but I'm not sure about that play. It just didn't seem to accomplish a whole heck of a lot. We've got Metagross on Swampert now. Full team revealed for Undy. Swampert was the last poke. Triangle's just showing his last poke now. Gengar, that comes in thinking Earthquake. Instead, it's a Protect. Either way, that works. He's going to come in completely safely. The question is, does he have HP Grass? And the other question is, can he do anything to Bliss? Blissey is at 19%. Has to be very careful trying to switch in here. It might be a situation where something has to die in order for Bliss to come in. But even then, we know this Gengar has Hypnosis. We see it now. He's missed a couple of times, though, and he's going to start getting hit every time he misses. This time he gets hit with an Ice Beam, 30%. He can take a couple more of those if it comes to it. Protect. That Hypnosis would have connected, but shoulda, woulda, coulda, doesn't matter. We'll see if the next one hits on a non-Protect turn, as Swampert has left it up significantly. And again, the Hypnosis is going to miss. It's going to be three misses for Undisputed, or Triangles, rather, with that crappy 60-40 accuracy. And Undy gets him with another Ice Beam. He can live one more non-crit Ice Beam. And Swampert has managed to lefties his way back all the way up to 100% here. So hopefully this ends up being worth it for Triangles, who still has not been able to land a Hypnosis. And he'll miss another one. 0 for 4 on that crappy 60-40 accuracy. This one's going to be important. Otherwise, the Bliss will heal up. And finally, on the fifth attempt... Triangles will hit and un uh, got hit and undisputed. He's gonna try to hit undisputed boys, but he hits hypnosis is what he does. And he over predicts. He thinks there's gonna be a switch here. Goes hypnosis and there is not a switch. Blissey kills a sleep turn. This gets a little bit dangerous now. Blissey that much closer to simply waking up and getting off that soft boiled T bolt. Does not wake, and I believe Blissey is in trouble now. She's at just 8%, and I think Undy is going to have to concede that this Blissey is going to die. He agrees. There is the Thunderbolt, and down she goes. We've got ourselves a 3-3 three three situation. Starmie comes in. Again, is going to be faster than the Gengar. We see that via the sand damage. So it is an offensive threat here. It just needs to not miss Hydro Pump, and it doesn't. 80-20, again, cooperative for Undisputed. Down it goes. Got ourselves a 3-2 to two situation now. Here comes Metagross, which does not have leftovers for Triangles. Switches it back, however, to Titar. See if that has lefties. That does not have lefties either. It showed Fire Blast earlier, so it's not wild to think it has HP Grass. And in fact, there is HP Grass. It is a special tar. Connects with the other tar. It's mixed, however. It's got that surprise brick break that had previously been unrevealed. That's going to be a KO from 72% on the opposing tar. And once again, this game is back to even. It's been very back and forth. We've got ourselves a 2-2 two -to -two situation. Meta comes in on Hydro Pump, gets clocked for 55%. Will die to a follow-up attack. Doesn't have to be Hydro Pump. Thunderbolt will be good enough. And that leaves Triangles with only the T-Tar here. Hydro Pump still has 4 PP, so he's going to be relying on a miss. Hydro Pump here should knock out this T-Tar and end the day. He goes Thunderbolt instead. He doesn't want to rely on the miss. Hidden Power comes down. He must have calc that he can live a Hidden Power Grass here. Otherwise, he would not have made that play. So here comes Swampert trying to live a Hidden Power Grass. A non-crit will not be good enough. 
The crit does not come, and there is the Earthquake knocking out the Titar. Game 1, very close. It comes down to one Pokemon only with 26%, but that will be good enough, and Undisputed will take Game 1 from Triangles. Good game. Great way to start the series. It's very competitive here, as I knew it would be between these two ADV mains in the SPL. Very good players here. I can't wait to see how the rest of it plays out. But in the meantime, thumbs up if you enjoyed this game and look forward to game two coming up next.